Okay. Let's start the session. going on ladies and gentlemen ladies and gentlemen this is your boy jay this is your boy Splint. what's up and uh we're here on stoner's journey, stoner's journey. episode toi toi dos dos du me all those things so uh, welcome back welcome back to our show welcome um, welcome last week we had a pretty good show a couple of days ago it's not even last week we, yeah. did, we did two by the way just so that everybody knows up front, we do two of these a week, so you guys can go down to a podcast session, so I will drop the link for you below. Um, and uh, go follow us over there, we're going to be doing this twice a week. You guys can also submit your questions at Forum Distoners, uh, we'll also drop that link. Uh, and we're going to be dealing with one question every episode, but we'll also be talking about just you know, general shit, and uh, that you need to know, that might have to know, that you didn't know, that you did not know. So we could tell you, update you, inform you. If you ask the right questions, we could get to the root of it. We can bring the cobwebs out and make things more clearer on what we is and what it's about, and how we best could utilize this and best suit it for our advantage. In essence, we're just gonna be going through everything about weed and what you guys tell us to do, we will be doing it um, with it. Well, we'll also be bringing our own people and we'll be bringing growers over time. So it's gonna grow. It's gonna grow, that's it. So now remember here on the Stoner's Journey, we're trying to start a, a little tradition. Um, and that is uh, sparking up the session with a, with a bowl of something. Now last week we did uh, Moon Rock. Moon Rock. Uh, so this time around, what are we doing? I think we're gonna be doing some wax, I believe. We're gonna use the Dabatron. Dabatricious. Yeah, Dabatron, Dabatron is a Pulsar hand e-nail that we've got, which is pretty freaking good. It's kind of dirty it's right fucking now. fucking awesome. But uh, it'll do its trick. So um, the five clicks to get us going. Here we go. Listen to that. And we've got lights. It was less than five clicks, but fucking. In the meanwhile, while we're waiting here um, for the Davitron to get up, we got a question from the Stoner Forums uh, by a dude named Puff. Could you Puff. tell? What, what did Puff say? I do believe that Puff was asking about, okay, he's interested in weed, so what are the steps, what are the benefits, and I think how he can get, how he should start off smoking weed, so... The Devatron is green and it's go, ladies and gentlemen. Genre is in there. He's got the wax in and it's lit up and he's smoking and he's smoking. Long, small, slow. Inhale. Hold it. <laughs> oh, how tasty it is. Get all the goodness in. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, yes. <laughs> Clearable. My turn. <laughs> it's right. my turn. Holy shit. Uh, yep, yep. <laughs> oh, it smells amazing. Yeah, so, this is a uh, good ass wax, dude. The homeboy Mike. 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 Mikey G brought that shit. Mike the Traveler. <laughs> Mike. Mike is a uh, is our hookup. He brings us our our moon rock. Shout out to Mikey. What's up, Mike? This one's for you, man. The, the dabs are doing the trick. Splint is up and running, and oh my God, is that just a little cloud of happiness? He's going for it. He's slowly. He doesn't realize that it's going to kick him in the balls. Come on. Hit that shit. Hit that shit. There we go. <laughs> Clear it. Clear it. <laughs> I just got punched in the chest by an MMA fighter. Clear it, dude. You're wasted. He was trying to do an action like a uh, line from like an action movie. Oh. <laughs> so, how is Things that? we do for the show <laughs> brings a tear to both my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> that and the fact. And I'm loving it. The fact that the dab kicked you straight in the chest like a horse. <coughs> Donkey, fuck a horse, dude. I'm talking about pure bread, old school. <coughs> in the chest, in donkey. The chest. Donkey punch before. <laughs> I'm going for my second just so everybody over there. Oh, it's a knows. bad idea. <laughs> I'm doing my second. The thing is, <coughs> with the Debatron, hold on. It's green. And John Resolve and it's. Ooh, and it just disappeared. The whole white cloud disappeared. It's amazing. Oh, and there's more white cloud as John adds in and he puffs up and he goes in it. And he's choking, choking, ladies and gentlemen. But it's a good choke. Healthy choke. 
THC filled choke. Choking is making him red and he spouts <laughs> Kano. <coughs> Holy fuck! Night cave on Kano. And for the final round. Oh, no split. I am taking a break because I still want to be conscious for the parquet. <laughs> okay. If I keep going, I'm gonna be unable to function. But then again, ladies and gentlemen, the highlight of the best part of our wax <coughs> is that it takes you high in the head. Heightens your intelligence, <laughs> makes you more focused, and it makes you. Heightens your intelligence. I'm, I'm speaking about <coughs> myself. Each one, oh. each person is different, right? Each person has a different need when it comes to weed, so. Uh, which brings us. <coughs> Sorry. To the question. <coughs> so. So let's get Jandre. Get him down, Kong. J. 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 <coughs> let's get some J. Anyway. Calm down. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> that second hit kicked my ass. We might edit out the, the cough, so we might leave it in for good measure. But anyway, yeah. leading us into the question at hand. The question at hand was, somebody that's new to weed uh, and wants to use it for medicinal purposes, what type of strain or what type of weed would be good for them? That's the question. Before that, let's just <coughs> cover all the, the basis of... <coughs> We'll what get kinds that. of the I'm talking about Yeah, but I'm just what, 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 the issues. question was that, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. Basically, you want to know what for what specific medical purposes? What specific stuff. medical condition? Anxiety, I think. Anxiety. Okay. <clears throat> now we can start with the basis of all the different weeds. Um, it's gonna be a small little crash course. You said Jay. <clears throat> that uh, we're gonna be doing about the different weeds. Now, obviously, weed is very complex and. If you go down that rabbit hole, you could be studying years just studying that shit. I think every time we, when I can, when we, we agree about something, hit that J, you know, oh, like, yeah. and hit that split. <coughs> I'm high. I'm sorry. I know. Like I'm getting I'm, all serious I'm, now. I'm getting that. Well, well, deep. I'm not. I'm not <coughs> getting serious, but uh. Well, I'm. I'm just, okay. If, if you do the uh, talk chance. about it, Sir J. Tell <coughs> them. Tell the people who need to know the truth. <coughs> okay, so. Weed, <coughs> predominantly, you get indicas and sativas. Those are the most commonly known within the market. And the indicas are usually uh, associated with uh, couch lock. It's uh, a heavy body narcotic. And uh, sativa, that is uh, more a cerebral high. You know, it's more a cerebral activity. It gives you more energy and so forth. So, uh, depending on what type of anxiety somebody would have, um, in fact, anxiety, best for anxiety would be high CBD strains or CBD oils. Uh, that doesn't get you high, it's got, no, um, it's got no psychoactive properties in it, but uh, it does help chill you the fuck out, you know, like that's, it helps with pain, it helps with inflammation, uh, so forth. So, <clears throat> in terms of anxiety, depends on what causes your anxiety too. You know, I think also important what people need to realize with when it comes to cannabis medicines and shit is you do need to know what is psychosomatic and what is actually a physical ailment. You know, people's like, oh yeah, <laughs> I need to treat my anxiety. If you don't know where the fuck your anxiety is coming from, then you're just gonna treat what it doesn't matter. You could you could smoke a ton of weed and you're still gonna be anxious because you're not dealing with the, the root of the, the problem. The actual trigger. And, and what weed does for anxiety is it helps like ease, you know, because anxiety's got that clawing feeling, you know. When the, If you've ever been anxious and you sat there and you're like anxious and you can't do something, it's like you're almost crawling out of your skin. Well, weed will chill that the fuck down, but it won't make your anxiety go away. And that's something you have to understand. Insomnia different. For instance, yeah. in insomnia, you smoke some indica, some deep, hardcore indica, uh, heavy dose, and you probably want to do some edibles when you're doing that, because edibles just hits your body. It's full on body high. Uh, with a deep indica, you'd feel like a thousand tons. <coughs> Splint <coughs> is uh, miming. Indicating that he's yeah. on a trip of his own. He's, he's, he's sitting there. With his... I haven't had this good of a wax in a long time, and I'm not talking about Brazilian people. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about good, wax, <coughs> good, healthy wax. You know. So, in terms of medicines, uh, that's pretty much how it goes. Like, 
Uh, sativa, upper energy, if you need shit done, do that in moderation. Uh, pain, appetite, all those things, indicas, and anxiety and things like that, CBDs in general. But this is like, I'm telling you guys, this is like reading two sentences off of the book of cannabis. Uh, if you really want to go into it, you're gonna have to like. If you want to, you can jump into. We'll, we'll recommend some sites and some articles that you can start reading. But study it up on yourself. You know, it's it's important to learn what the fuck you're putting into your body. You know, uh, even if you're smoking weed or whatever, know what you're doing to yourself. So um, we will post some shit down below, some articles about. Uh, you know, what's THC and what's CBD and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> and then you guys can just uh, start your garden. If you have some questions while you're researching, uh, send them along. You know, we'll be here to, we'll to answer. To get to the answer. Yeah. Now, what do you use weed for? What's what's your main reason for weed? Like, what do you well, use it medically or do you use it uh, recreationally? Like, what's, what's... To be honest, I use it for my anxiety and depression so also it helps me to be more creative and it blocks out the noise I have in my head so I use it for that otherwise I've tried other medications but so you wouldn't say that you that you smoke weed for fun of it no actually it, it, it calms me down it helps me <coughs> relax when I feel like I want to explode frustrated and stressed it just gives me a place to go and just calm down it gives me that beach type effect it takes me to my my happy place so yeah. to me it's not just about sm smoking weed and being high and shit it's actually something real that i do to go within myself and just reason and fucking calculate through shit and just go through the trash and deal with shit so that when i come out of this i don't feel as heavy or as tired or as strained as i usually feel every day when I don't smoke. Yeah. It's just a, it's not a disconnect, but that's my medication. It's like taking the edge off. Yeah, it takes like, a lot of the edge off. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'm using it for the fun of it. Like, I mean, I don't need weed every day. I, I smoke it every day, but I don't need it every day. Um, why do I smoke it? Um, because of my type of drug. <coughs> At the end of the day, uh, I sit there and I work in front of a computer, I'm researching, I'm doing these things all the time. Uh, at the end of the day, I need to fucking just break. My brain needs to break from the fucking frequency that just it's disconnect in. disconnect from everything. And so what weed does it. is, like you said, it, it's a creative, like it, it removes, it opens that door. It takes the barriers. It doesn't make you more creative, it just makes you less, not give a fuck about... It what lets you do. free actually, you're it not, takes the chain of limbs yeah, you're not, you're off not, from your neck. And lets you run for a while and just... You're not self-analyzing exactly. anymore. Exactly, you're, you're just connected from the matrix. As you're flowing. Say. That's it, you know. And so when I go to the flow state, that's being high for me. And I don't do it... <coughs> like, I'm not the type of dude that smokes weed from the morning. Except on, like, Sundays, you know. That's when I wake and bake and that's my, like, total stoner day. That's when I'm just like, you know what? Today I'm binging or I'm doing something. I'm watching series. I'm smoking weed. I'm eating. I'm doing something like that. Just but the rest of the, the week I'm working, you know, I can't be stoned all the time. No, I know. It's like you push yourself to such a fucking limit every day. Like you know with writing articles that, yeah, you, that sure. it's hard when you're too stoned, when yeah. you get like too stoned. Like right so now, you can't, you can't. if I were to tell you, sit down and write, give me 700 word article right now. You'd be so relaxed and so unfocused that you'd be like just thinking about so much good things. Yeah, and it'd, it'd take you about four hours to finish one article. You know? But you'd be happy as fuck. Oh, you'd be happy. And the article might be a masterpiece. You never knew where the creation... The I've, creation and I've done came. that. Like, I've done that. I've smoked reasonable amounts of weed to make writing difficult things easier. But it's hard for me to calculate <coughs> what is enough weed. Because taking just one toke too many... It sets you into that. Hey, but you learn from your mistakes. Oh yeah, but my my correction was don't smoke <laughs> weed when you need to write like heavy shit. Uh, I, when you're done with that, you learn your limits from the from yeah. the stash it. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've done the same things. So I was like, okay, for same this activity, things. I don't need to smoke weed. I need to be sober for this, or whatever my high is left my my leftover high is worth, and then. Uh, 
that's it. Then I'll just do that. But then at night times, I like to bake up. I like to just smoke a couple yeah. of big things. And I'm not that's like, good. I'm not out of my mind lying on my bed listening to Pink Floyd. I'm stoned playing the drums or I'm playing guitar or I'm doing something like that. Writing new songs. That actually is like marijuana is a compliment to your lifestyle. It's yeah. not a fucking, it's not a decaying Use part. weed. If, That's you're, why if people, you do a hobby, they, have, they understand it badly. If you do a hobby, whatever hobby it is, smoke weed while you do your hobby. And it makes it so much better. I mean, yeah. going to extremes Gardening. and doing shit, and then oh, you feel yeah. fatigued as well. But with weed, your life just becomes so much better. It's I simple. don't know why people don't understand <coughs> that. So, well, some people just don't uh, react well with they, weed either. They it happens. Because they 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 listen to what they say. <laughs> The and thing then is, they base this the thesis and everything in it. I think what people need to understand is that stoners, um, it feels good. You know, it feels good to be high. It's, you're in a good state of mind. You're creative. Excellent. You can flow. Um, and you're like everybody should feel like this. Like it's 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 not a. You know, you should be high too. So you should enjoy the experience of being so open. You should and, and well be connected. happy. Yeah. If, if you can explain <coughs> your experience, it's be happy. It's impossible to be angry. Yeah. It's just so much joy within yourself is just lit up at one time and you're like, fuck, the world is beautiful. The moment is beautiful. Come on, Everything is beautiful. And you just had peace with the life and mm -hmm. the world. And, but nobody wants that because it's so bad. And you can, nah, but misunderstandings is what... What happens when you just have less information than your your brain should actually have to come to a conclusion? So more people, like I think I think instead of that, it's, I think it's rather as a, a hyper focus towards a thing, sort of like an autistic person would look at life. You know, it's like uh, an autistic person looks at actually, like numbers, and the point. numbers is like music to them. You Based know? on everybody seeing things <clears> in a different way, who is right, who is wrong, who's got the right point. Right. Some say yes, some say no. Well, at you the know, end of the day, if, if, you're, if you're gonna be walking into that territory, the the territory of what is right and wrong and philosophy, the man. Yeah, no, no, we we we'll save that for another episode because the man saved <laughs> our day. Yeah, no, we'll do it. We'll do it some other day. Ding. Save because because that is a good topic. Talking about the conspiracy behind weed. Whether how real it is and how false down, it is. Down, down. Uh, weed bad. No, no, no bad. Weed. We'll talk. I think we can talk about that for the next episode. Okay. Like next time, we won't be taking a, a stoner question. But if you guys want specific things related to um, the history of weed, the weed conspiracy, we will talk about that. Weed against. Ask me. Ask against me about what you is know the poisons. laws and Anslinger and all those guys go to town. I know it. I've covered it. So, uh, we'll talk about that next time. Let's just say this dude's a walking encyclopedia on weed. Uh, well, I've been, I've been... He's a weed genius. I've been writing on that shit for a long a time. Weed messiah. Yeah. The uh, one who has come to bring <laughs> us the message from the weed side. <laughs> that right. the grass is greener. I said greener. Yes, sir, greener on the other side. On the other side. Let's break into word and say... Mm -hmm. Split, ladies and gentlemen. The Messiah is <coughs> here. But I'm, I'm, uh, I'm literally not the Messiah. Just to point that the out messenger, to everybody. His name is Jay. Uh, With just, a capital J. I'm just, uh, you know what? I rather Nothing consider. Wrong. I wouldn't consider myself yes, the Messiah. Jay. I would consider myself subtitles as, Messiah. As those messenger. poor old scribes that Bring went and studied. The that's, 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 that's. John Dre. J J J J. You have to cut it out. Yeah, dude. So you yeah, went you went on a you went on a tangent yeah, over there. Just to add some uh, waxiness some, to it. Some color. Sorry. Some color. That's fine. I mean, this is literally the stoner's journey, and this I'm is what also high. happens. That's my apologies. I'm high. But you don't have to apologize, man. Uh, well, before we well, who, who um, got like, offended? That's we are 420 friendly, I forget. Yeah, I who got offended for people being Stoners mad. out there get high and be creative. And you get moments like that when shit just comes down. And just go with it, man. Like, the thing is, people take life way too seriously. Too serious. I think we, 
uh, as human beings, we're so trapped in these narratives, these ideas of, hey, you've got to behave this certain way. To be a perfect man, you have to do. To be a perfect woman, you have to be. No. Yeah. So instead of that, stop the bullshit. And sometimes if you want to squirm or you want to fucking shout out or you want to break out into some some gospel shit, dude, you go to town. And whatever's in the moment, you, you have to go, go obedient to, to what the town. universe is asking you to do at that moment. If it's to be silly and make yourself exposed so that other people can find joy in the moment, I mean, my or stupidity... Or just to break your just, own fucking ego, dude. Yeah. Like, why, why let do we... Let go, let loose, obey. Be, yeah. Just be in the moment. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's dab times right there, man. Shit, this is good. But uh, I think we can call it there for today. Oh, yes, uh, we can. I think this is a good, good uh, time. Next week, we will be dealing with the history of cannabis. Not the full history. We'll talk about only the conspiracy part. Uh, later on, if you guys want to, we'll jump into the old history, you know. Way it began. We'll even talk about the stoned ape theory a little bit. Way it started. Just just for all that. So, uh, anyway, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for listening. This has been Jay Splint. And uh, this is a Stoner's Journey. Stoner's Journey. Episode 2. 2. Signing off with a song. I don't know what song is going to be put on. I'll put that in on the editing thing. Um, during that process. So, you know, peace out. Enjoy peace. the music. Smoke that shit.